Well, as we've been reporting, dozens of ships are still anchored offshore in L.A. and Long Beach, waiting to unload their cargo. Yeah, but some are carrying cargo that can't wait, and they're sailing up the coast to Port Wainimi. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim shows us how it's going. The traditional cargoes at the port of Wainimi are bananas, fresh produce, cars, and fertilizer. But with the current backlog of ships at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, the port of Wainimi's CEO and director says they've become a relief valve for the congestion at the bigger ports down south. When cargo comes from Asia to transshipment hubs in South America, it can jump on a ship and come up to Wainimi that way. We're also seeing some smaller size vessel charter ships out of smaller niche shipping lines in Asia and bring their cargo here this way. Dika says the port of Wainimi is also helping out on the export side. And we're seeing those containers come here to Port Wainimi and be able to get on ships and move to South America trade lanes. In fact, just this first quarter alone, our export volumes are up 219 percent. And to avoid the bigger ports, some vessels are now unloading all of their containers at the port of Wainimi. We certainly can help move certain types of commodities that are more time sensitive to the market, say electronics and other important commodities, can now start coming through here. To my left, this is what's called a mobile harbor crane. This is how smaller niche ports like Wainimi onload and offload containers from vessels. It gives them more flexibility to offload different types of cargo. Right here, these are bananas coming from South America or Mexico. This over here is a roll on, roll off vessel. As we took a tour of the operations, Dikas explained why we don't see any congestion at this traditionally 24 7 port. We bring a container in. It gets checked in, it gets put on a chassis, and then it goes out to a distribution facility outside the gate where it gets inspected by customs there. Hence, you don't have bottlenecking here inside the gate and at the gate of the ports. Dikas is glad to hear the governor has ordered other ports to start looking into offsite storage areas or distribution facilities. It's important that we continue to really act as that operating port, that conductor, to make sure that all aspects of the supply chain are in check and have the capability to handle the volume of cargo coming through this operation. Reporting from Port Wainimi, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.